It appears more and more refugee families are making Utah home. And as they arrive, one organization that helps them settle in isn't worried about the house itself. They're worried about what's in it. News specialist Aaron Cox shows you they're needing help. All of the basic comforts, pots, pans, couches, beds, and blankets were ready to go for Khalil Jaradia's family when they came from Jordan. Everything is different. The way of living, the design of houses, the simple life. The family of six arrived in Utah four days before our cameras captured their new home. And we hope the future for my children here is better. Most of what you see was provided by Catholic Community Services. Refugees, when they first arrive, they just come with their suitcases. And then they have they a warehouse with furniture donated from the community and mattresses made new for refugees. Because at the beginning, they're not working and they're not having any additional income. So the store would help them provide the basic things that they need to continue continue their living. The warehouse is low on supplies. In the past three months, they've served nearly one refugee family per day, and they expect more to arrive soon. The need is great. It's going to continue to grow. Aidan Batar, the director of Migration and Refugee Services, says they typically help more than 600 refugees a year. But this year, they've had 800 and were told to plan on 1,300 total. That number does not include families fleeing the conflict in Ukraine. Already we have seen this year through Catholic Community Services about 300 Ukrainians that just showed up at our door. CCS pays for housing, helps refugees find jobs and get their kids to school. But they rely on donations from the community to furnish housing and fill other needs. Even Khalil's fully furnished house is still missing things. We still don't have access to the internet, and for the children, they still need some school equipment or stationery. The basic comfort is what we are asking for our community to support us so these families can be on their way to the road to self-sufficiency. They make all the difference. I'm hoping for a better life for me and the rest of my family. In Salt Lake City, Aaron Cox, KSL 5 News.